Hello and welcome to this week's update. Now, there's been a rather large motor show on this week and here are the highlights. So, the Geneva Motor Show. Let's try and get through as many of the key features as possible. Ferrari joined the hybrid club with the 599 High Curs. While it sounds like a mass walking movement, it's actually a 6 litre V12 hybrid with around 700 brake horsepower. It's also a rolling test bed for the nearly eco-friendly tech which Ferrari claims has saved the V12 engine. And apparently, the engineers love working on it too. Porsche dropped a bit of a bombshell on us. While we were expecting this, the 911 GT3 R Hybrid, we definitely weren't expecting the 918 Spider. The only thing more impressive than its stunning design is its 3.4 litre, 500 brake horsepower race to ride V8. Or maybe the two electric motors that chuck out dollops of extra power whenever it's called upon. Either or, it's a concept at the moment, but how long have Porsche concepts classically remained concepts? Lexus has decided to take on the BMW 1 Series with a small hybrid hatch. It looks a little bit like a Toyota Aris with some standard Lexus design flair thrown in. It's got a 1.8 litre engine with Lexus's latest hybrid tech. However, it will cost around £22,000, which is quite a lot to tell the world you're a vegetarian. So, what else went on at Geneva? Well, let's get through this quickly. The Mini Countryman appeared, it was pointless, Koenigsegg updated the CCX again, Lamborghini made the ageing Gallardo just a little bit quicker, Audi popped some batteries and a Lecky motor onto a Polo chassis, Seat did the same thing, Alfa attempted to bring style back and almost made it, Aston Martin ruined its reputation and Citroen decided to get just that little bit racy. Bags more went on and if you're keen to find out head over to cardealermagazine.co.uk where there's plenty more coverage. And now Nissan's latest attempt at a small, cheap city car. The old Nissan Micro was a pretty ugly piece of kit, but it was small and reliable. This new one, however, has to be one of the biggest missed opportunities in motoring history. It's been built to a budget to make sure it can be sold in India, Thailand, China and other developing countries. It's going to be a world car, recognisable all over the planet. And everyone who sees it will laugh. Heartily. It'll come with three cylinder engines, they save the environment, but I think it's all about the money. And now, Cameraman Phil's Word of the Week. Clutch. Male Style Bible GQ has decided that as well as dispensing lifestyle advice for GQ Man, they've decided they want a car of their very own. And here it is, the GQ by Citroen. It will never get made though, probably because it's too uneconomical or something. Or maybe because no one would buy it, because how many GQ men do you actually know? Anyway, that's about enough for this week, but here's some footage of Aston Martin's hypercar, the 177, hooning it around a test track. Anything to get rid of that awful signet thing.